This Husky was horrifically abused by two Marines, but his heartbreaking story didn't end there. Animal abuse is always a terrible act, but somehow it seems even worse when it's perpetrated by those who should know better than showing cruelty to pets under their care. For the first five months of his life, Kane was subjected to some truly horrific abuse at the hands of his owners. He suffered serious damage all over his body, including his rear legs, which were so badly broken that he needed surgery. When he was found by California's not-for-profit animal welfare group, Ranch Dog Rescue, it was clear that Kane had been exposed to some unspeakable cruelty. His owners had bound his mouth tightly. As a result of his mouth being bound shut all the time, the poor little puppy's teeth had become rotten, which, as anyone who has ever had a toothache can testify, must have been causing him no small amount of pain and discomfort. Kane's abuse came at the unlikely hands of two supposedly responsible members of the community, Joseph and Victoria Urugas. Victoria was a lieutenant corporal in the U.S. Marines. Kane had endured a lot of suffering, but after his rescue, his leg surgery and medical treatment, his fortunes started to change. After releasing the details of the dog's abuse, Ranch Dog Rescue received a huge amount of support for the plucky puppy. Kane needed to have the bones in his legs pinned together after they were shattered, while his snout scars will remain with him for the rest of his life. But overall, he started to heal miraculously from the awful abuse he suffered at the hands of his former owners. Perhaps Kane's biggest change in fortune, though, is that his rescuers, Ranch Dog Rescue, have decided to keep him rather than adopt him out. Kane will spend the rest of his life in a loving environment around caring people and other rescue dogs just like himself. Kane has found happiness in his new home and he's even started walking again, although he will always favor putting his weight on one side of his body over the other due to his past injuries. Now he's happy and comfortable. Kane can take all the time he needs to recover. Healing is never an easy road for abused animals and he still has his off days, but the young canine is certainly in the best of hands with Ranch Dog Rescue. Although the charity's dogs tend to get plenty of exercise, Kane has been taking it easy. He's been watched over by his new owners who will see to it that he gets the care he needs when he needs it, even if it does mean missing some walks when he isn't feeling up to it. Kane never has to feel alone again. Not only does he have his new human family, but also a host of canine companions, including the ones who stay at the ranch full time, as well as the dogs which are waiting to be adopted. Hank, one of the Husky's new pack friends, even has leg damage like Kane, so they can keep each other company on days when Kane can't get around as well as he'd like. Life has changed a lot for Kane. His journey must have been something of a roller coaster, but he's very happy in his new surroundings and can even take time to enjoy doing things he never could have imagined in his previous life, like taking walks on the beach. It shows the strength of Kane's character that he can still be such a gentle dog, even after all the abuse he's suffered. Not only does he get along well with other dogs at the ranch, he's also gentle around kids. Kane Evans found himself in the role of babysitter for a 17-month-old little one in his new family. Whenever she has a tantrum or gets upset, she yells out the husky's name and he's the first on the scene to comfort her. It's not just the human kids that Kane is good with either. However, he is gentle with all the younger and smaller animals on the ranch, acting like a concerned parent towards the puppies and letting them cuddle up with him. Under Ranch Dog Care's care, Kane has blossomed from the victimized little puppy he was. Over the course of 10 weeks, the handsome husky reached twice the size he was found at and put on 14 pounds, clearly making up for lost time when he was unable to eat properly. As for his cruel abusers, Victoria Urugas confessed to four counts of inhumane treatment towards Kane and received an other than honorable characterization of separation from the services. 
Although his abusers didn't receive any jail sentences, there was at least some sort of justice. The most important thing is that Kane is now safe, well on the mend with his new family, one that cares for him and gives him all the love and affection he deserves.